the story you'll see only on CBS Miami and staying with traffic issues right now. People who live in a northeast Miami-Dade neighborhood are at wit's end here. They don't know what to do anymore. A four-way intersection produces 10 to 15 accidents every single year. Many of them cause thousands of dollars in property damage. For years, neighbors have complained to the police, the county, the mayor. Nothing has been done. So I took the complaints to the District 2 Commissioner for some answers. Cars run through here like, um, like it's a speedway. The neighborhood is just at its wits. We don't know what else to do. Especially Deanna Mesa, who's lived at the intersection of 8th Avenue and 149th Street for five years in Northwest Miami-Dade. Her property scarred with tales of traffic entanglements, a busted up chain link fence like Christmas decor wrapped with old yellow caution and police tape. The amount of accidents that we have had here, we're talking about anywhere from 10 to 15 accidents a year. And unfortunately, the ones, especially the ones that hit our properties are usually hit and run. The most recent left a pile of rubble where Deanna Mesa and her husband just installed a brand new motorized fence themselves. A BMW barrels through the intersection, loses control. And yes, that's Deanna, frustrated and furious, running after them. Mesa shared some of her greatest hits, no pun intended, from security video of the intersection. Check it out as an SUV goes around a pickup that actually obeyed the stop sign, then gets T-boned by another car. It happens day and night. Neither car stops and the collision forces them to pinball into parked cars. And when a car does come to a complete stop, they're still at risk. Boom. Mesa and her neighbors feel matter. they're engaged in a futile endeavor here. For five years, they've complained to Miami-Dade police, which stepped up patrols temporarily. They've complained to the mayor, even the Traffic and Public Works Department. The department's solution? Rumble strips installed in 2021. And then more head-banging disbelief and frustration. Two months later, the crew was out here removing the rumble strips again. And when we asked why, it turns out that it was because somebody complained about the noise. And so ensued several additional years of complaints, she says, fell on deaf ears. Well, maybe we have an answer. Few respect the four-way stop sign, so the neighborhood wants to see a roundabout installed. Yes, it is an option. We Instead of one, we're looking about three uh, uh, different islands. It's going to take time um, and, and, and to really determine uh, where to place them. Marlene Bastien, County Commissioner for District 2, says she's been aware of this awful intersection since she took office over a year ago. She claims to have the resources now for three area traffic islands and an upgrade to the stop signs to make it a stoplight there at 8th Ave and 149th. And she has dates. The survey will begin um, uh, in April, like this month. The survey will begin and then we will have the design by uh, May and hopefully uh, by uh, you know the next year, 2025, uh, the work will be completed. Apparent future finality. Some neighbors say they'll actually believe when they see it. All right, so we also asked the commissioner why it takes so long to get funding for these projects. She shrugged and said, yeah, it, it takes way too long. She brought that up to the mayor and together they are now working on that. By the way, I was just in touch with Dion on Friday last week. She said Thursday there was another accident, another hit and run on her property.